हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मोचनी विद डिकोडेड रिसेंटली आई मेड अ वीडियो ऑन व्हाई एवरीबॉडी एवरी सी फेरो इज अ ऑफिसर और एन इंजीनियर शुड जज मैरिटाइम यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया इट इज समथिंग दैट वी ऑल नीड टू डू बट देन अ लॉट ऑफ रिमार्क्स केम इन माय लिंक्डइन पोस्ट वेयर अ लॉट ऑफ कंप्लेंट्स वर देयर एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड स्टडीइंग एंड डूइंग माय ओन रिसर्च लुकिंग इनटू एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ एमयू एंड आई थॉट दैट आई नीड टू मेक अ वीडियो where i'll try to bring a bridge in a balance between the things where mui can really do better and also things where we seafarers need to give a leeway as well so let's just start without wasting any time so first thing that i realized was that not all seafarers know about mui why i even asked one of my batchmates here are you a member of mui kata mui what mui so somewhere over here i feel that more awareness about mui needs to be created and that is what people like me who are social media educators for merchant navy should do and if you believe in that and i personally believe in mui second thing second thing is ki why is it so that mui does not uh, are people are not aware about m second thing is why people are not that much aware about mui is because they have very less presence on social media which i'll prove later on so aaj ki date mein social media today plays a very important role every seafarer out there whether a indian or non indian is somewhere down the line either on youtube or on instagram or on linkedin or on twitter so if we really want to do well we have to be present on all these social media platforms second thing even today we can see that dd shipping has changed a lot in terms of their procedures and the way it used to work like i remember years back if we had to apply for cdc we had to go all the way to kolkata mmd if we had to apply for indos we had to go there if we had to apply for dc we had to go there and sometimes stay there for 2 to 3 days so imagine for me from dehradun traveling to kolkata then coming back and staying there for 2 to 3 days and along with that all the time being present there at mmd how much time and effort does it take but today things have become very simple everything is automated you uh, put all your certificates online everything is done you get your dc home you get your coc home within 7 days of 14 days so dd shipping has done miraculously well when it comes to digitalization and that is where i think mui can do better and they can take a hint from dd shipping's uh, profile as well ki how come they have done so well out here like even today booking a guest house has to be done a month prior and it is not done online i think so ki in today's world it should be done online second thing even if there are your insurance claims or anything as such they have to be settled offline not online like i still remember that i had to ask for maternity claims for my wife i had to post all those documents to the mui office then only they could be entertained in that way so i believe personally that this can also be done done online apart from that even election process today is offline especially for us mariners who are uh, someone who is on ship someone is over here we all want to gain that access that we should be able to become a part of the election process so out here uh, if it can become online that is great but again this thing is not in my domain because there are chances that the election process can get rigged and maybe that is why in today even in india the election process is not online it is offline to those evms i do not know about that but yes this and this can surely be taken care online so now some replies on linkedin so when i posted on linkedin about mui and why every seafarer should join a lot of complaints started coming so i just want to read this complaints and then just put it across to mui as well so aryan singh a third officer in english and said sir we do respect last 5 to 10 years i have seen a lot of indians being stuck overseas due to owner being bankrupt and other issues but i have never heard of mui being involved instead others from the fraternity were seen to escalate the issue to government of india now my message to mui is that aryan maybe does not follow you on twitter aryan is on linkedin aryan is on instagram aryan is on youtube but uh, mui you are not present so what i want to say is you might be doing tens and hundreds of good jobs but if you cannot showcase those works these kind of questions are going to come second thing nilanchan dikshit said if mui wants to be trusted they will have to develop the trust within seafarer community For example communicating with officers on monthly basis could be good as it allows MUI to know problems of seafarers better and officers also get to know about new initiatives now out there if you MUI conducts webinars they can post them on their YouTube channel 
even on little bit on linkedin on instagram and we are there as social media educators to amplify that voice but are you doing that how would we know we need to know that so when you conduct please showcase that on our youtube channel instagram what all good work are you doing i mailed so many emails regarding issues related to further education of seafarers but never got a reply from their side now this is another concern ki seafarers at all they can need some kind of advices so do you have those curriculums where these kind of advices are entertained or maybe such kind of webinars are conducted if not then they can be conducted and they can definitely put on the youtube channel which can do wonders for these people out here right so this is just an advice from my side rest uh, mui knows it better knows it better so apart from you only get a reply related to fee payment issues which gives an impression that union is only concerned about taking money which can be a false narrative as well so bhai this is genuine so if you are getting only mail regarding your fees and not about other concerns that is a cause of concern so in that case mu has got all the mails of the seafarers so rather than just putting these mails of uh, fee payment if they can send regular uh, mails of this was done for a particular seafarer this was done for a particular seafarer we have done this we have taken up this issues if such kind of updates can also be mailed to the seafarers i think so ki nilanchal dikshit would have known it better ki no i am not getting mail just for the sake of the fees i am getting regular mails as well about mui is doing just my suggestion manikandan manner mannar manan chief officer at msc management says forget about the medical insurance i never got a single penny even after sending full medical bills for my wife delivery now manikandan out here i can give my honest reviews i have two children and i have settled i have got my claim settled with both of my children and uh, without any hassles as such so your case i really do not know but in my case my issues were sorted without any complaints but yes it took 2 to 3 months but they got settled next come saleha sheikh thank you she uh, says thank you for a very informative write up about the mui just to add here that mui has a very strong women's wing which looks into the welfare of seafarers families and also into grievances related to women seafarers we have a helpline number where families of seafarer can reach out to out any time for any kind of problems they may face now saleha sheikh i would say i would love to see such kind of webinars being conducted and posted on your youtube channel on the mui page of linkedin which we can definitely promote as social media educators so that more and more people become aware of what mui is doing even for women seafarers their wives as well as for seafarers this is my suggestion captain tushar mokshi says what has mui done or proposed to do for retired seafarers especially medical insurance for their families now this is something not my domain mui can look into it i can just be a funnel in between shishir bhatnagar this is the master mariner on whose instance i have made this another video he said can you cite any recent examples where mui has come to the aid of seafarers who are stuck outside the country or their ship has been detained and they need help or the seafarers are illegally arrested what has mui done for them mui has simply brushed their hands off when my insurance claim was rejected by musk after my accident saying there are singapore flagships even smou was scared to take on a giant like musk well on the second paragraph i am not here to say anything that is between mui and shishir bhatnagar sir but out here can you cite any recent examples i cited example of roshan singh he is a seafarer who was stuck on board ship for 12 to 14 months he came to me for help as well on instagram live for whom i could not do but later on i realized that mui had done a lot of lot of they had taken a lot of efforts i could see their post as well through which he was released now out here uh, simple thing is if mui is doing any such thing that needs to be broadcasted else these kind of questions will keep coming and the trust issues will be lost now this is where mui is completely losing it this is your facebook page with just 29 followers in this domain of social media in this world of social media today this is a blunder that only 29 followers on your twitter you are doing fantastic with 14.3000 followers but this number should be more where we have got more than 1.5 lakh seafarers officers engineers in india itself so 14.3 is very less but still twitter is i understand why am you on twitter because government of india is over here prime minister modi is over here yes i understand but mui pranit mehta is not on twitter i am on facebook i am on linkedin i am on instagram i am not on twitter so that means majority of seafarers who really would trust mui they are not seeing what you are doing they also need to see so my suggestion is you need to be active over here on linkedin you have around 546 followers only now this is this ain't gonna work so all your good jobs which are coming on over here they should be over here 
they should be over here they should be on instagram just 89 followers today these young seafarers are on instagram you need to you cannot delete you need to be over here so all in all i can say is what all i have understood is that there is a lot of miscommunication between the seafarers and the meo whatever they are doing and i think so social media can play a very important role the uh, making the process of offline to online can ease up the process conducting more webinars and showcasing that on your youtube channel on instagram will make more sense this is my advice this is me sitting with captain tushar pradhan who is the general secretary and definitely when this video is made i'll be forwarding it to him personally let me see what feedback does he take and what he says thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata